The following is a sample interview recorded for PrivateEquity.com Radio and the Certified Private Equity Professional CPEP Certificate Program. To download the full interview and unlock other benefits for private equity professionals, become a Platinum member of PrivateEquity.com. Today we have Timothy Golan, a private equity consultant with 20 years of experience in the financial services industry specific to alternative investments. He's worked in many areas related to private equity, including legal documents, structures, valuations, due diligence, IT and software-related issues, and investor relations. Timothy also serves on our private equity advisory board for the Certified Private Equity Professional Program. Thank you for joining us today, Timothy. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm looking forward to our our talk. It should be an interesting one. Uh, Just to start off and give a little more more background. Uh, I gave a, I gave a little introduction there, but if you could uh, give the audience a little sense of what your professional experience was prior to entering uh, private equity industry and services. Did you work in investment banking or related field, anything like that? Well, for, first off, I, I started working on, you know, while I was going to college at Hofstra University in Long Island, I first started working on um, partnership uh, tax returns, real estate funds for the company that um, I was working for during my college days. And that branched off into the investment banking world where I spent a number of years with, with several different firms, among them um, Citibank, Lehman Brothers, as well as a firm Oppenheimer. Mm-hmm. And then after that, but that's where I gained most of my experience. But then after that, I branched out into the outsourcing world because mm-hmm. I thought that I could better service um, many firms instead of just one firm. And it's, it's worked out pretty well for me. And now I, I took that a little bit further, and I'm a consultant for, again, many different um, private equity firms. Okay, great. And do you think uh, that that real estate experience, do you think that translated well into your later work with private equity firms? Uh, Are they very different industries, obviously, but is there any similarities you glean from that? Yeah, what what happened was once I graduated um, college, the firm didn't really have a lot for me to to move forward in. So that's when I, I moved off into the investment banking world at Oppenheimer, and I was doing tax work there for a number of different funds that they had. And then they started to branch out those funds into more traditional private equity funds than, than what they were having. So that, that's where I started, and, and I got most of my experience. And then I moved on to Solomon Brothers, which eventually became Citigroup in various mergers. Sure. And... I branched off into accounting at that point, not just um, tax services, and then it just it just broadened from there because they started tapping into me for um, IT perspectives, mm-hmm. new software products that were coming into the market to test them before they purchased them, and also the structures of the the entities from a legal law uh, standpoint. Okay. And that just, that just blossomed into uh, a career supporting private equity firm. Okay. And a little more uh, specific to that, what do you, how, how have you worked with private equity firms in what capacity? Like if you, if you were to come in as a private equity consultant, uh, how would you, uh, how would that re- relationship progress? What, what capacity do you serve in that regard? Well, basically the, the way it works with the, firms that I'm consulting for now is I explain to them my background, like I, I mentioned um, um, to you, and then they they basically pick and choose what services they, they like. Mm-hmm. A lot of times they, they may not want a, a legal perspective since I'm not a, you know, a licensed attorney and they're paying their attorneys anyway, so they tap into them. But they do um, run things by me, basically, mm-hmm. just to before they get to speak to their 
accountings because you know they, they don't have a legal background so i give them advice from the legal perspective on setting up a structure the partnership agreements the marketing materials, how to market them. You know, again, based on my experience and what I've seen across many other funds, I can give them sort of a perspective of how to launch their first fund. You know, they may have a soft circle of investors, but they just want to make you know all, all the ducks in a row, basically. And that's where I would come into play. No, I think that's uh, that's really interesting because a lot of the people that we've uh, interact with through you know privateequity.com and through our professional program uh, are looking to launch their first time fund, and so I wondered if you had any sort of advice or how how they would get started in that process. It would just be reaching out to a consultant like you or somebody uh, who can sort of lead them along the way and make sure they don't miss any uh, steps and have all their ducks in a row. Yeah, the, um, the way it would work, I mean, there's a lot of funds out there that they can search through on the web mm-hmm. and also places like yourself, you know, advisory committees. They can get information there and then tap into those people that, that they find and they can give them advice, you know, obviously for a fee, but sure. it's going to be a lot less than you would pay the attorneys or an audit firm to do this similar kind of work. So the private equity consultants that that I'm attached to and the private equity consulting firms that that I'm attached to, it's just a lot more cost-effective for them to to use these as, as a starting point rather than go directly to an audit firm or a legal firm because the the fees are a lot more that are associated with those particular firms. Great. I think that's a valuable insight for a lot of emerging managers and startups out there. We hope you enjoyed the sample interview. To listen to the full interview and other private equity interviews, become a Platinum member at privateequity.com or join the Certified Private Equity Professional CPEP Certificate Program. Platinum members enjoy great benefits like weekly private equity newsletters, access to networking events, webinars, interviews, and more. Visit privateequity.com backslash association for a free two-week trial of Platinum Membership.